back to the unboxers and today we have for you another segment of what we watch and today we're going to be talking about Supergirl. Supergirl. Say it louder. Say Supergirl. it like you mean it. <laughs> Supergirl. Um, so Supergirl comes on um, Monday night yes. um, taking turns with... When is it tomorrow? I was going to say what you really strange. I've never heard of them doing anything yeah, like either. that. Anybody doing like that before but just swapping out the time slot with another TV show. Which I don't know, it's kind of cool because there's no downtime. Once yeah. they go off, the other one comes on. So it could be a new thing, a new good thing. Anyway, this there's uh, two more episodes of Supergirl. I think this one and I think I think next week is season finale for everything. Next week? You mean in two days? I believe so. <gasps> okay. Anyway, so of course know. anyway. It's either next week or the next week because everything's coming to uh, wrapping up to a close. Yeah. Alright, so um, on this past week's episode um, Yes, this was the big showdown with um, the, the world killers um, and I don't know, they don't call them that but Team Supergirl, they had Martian Manhunter and Supergirl and mon and Oh, all of them? But yeah. I, I'm trying to think back because now it's like Saturday when um, what exactly happened in the in the episode um you had the um they rain and pestilence and purity oh all. yes yes and they all came together and then they were fighting and then they um the ones who were they were trying to get the control back over their bodies mm -hmm. and become the good people and all that stuff so um you have some notes i do um i was just just high points of the the episode i thought it was cool because um the uh the Alex Danvers, her sister, has always kind of been a big part of the show, but now that they've gotten, you know, Monel and, and Brainiac and um, some of these other super powered characters, she doesn't really, you know, she's just mm -hmm. like a person. So it was kind of cool that, um, that he, um, that, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, mm -hmm. um, made her like a new costume. Uh, yeah, that is cool. Uh, I'm not a fan of hers. I mean, no offense to the actress or whatever. Um, I'm, and, and it is kind of a cool relationship between, you know, Supergirls, her sister and everything. But, like, as far as that character and being a fan, I'm not a huge fan of her. Um, of course, I much more like the uh, relationship between um, Supergirl and Mono. Mm -hmm. um, and now that he has a wife, um, that complicates things as well. Yeah. But anyway, okay, so what else you got? Um... That um, the the whole thing at the end um, I thought was interesting, where because um, Jimmy Olsen and Lena Luther have kind of been on again, you know, kind of dancing oh, around mm -hmm. the relationship thing, and then the big where he's like he tells her he's guardian and oh um, and kind of did I fall asleep? I missed this. <laughs> <laughs> and um, well, he kind of he kind of admits to her that you know Supergirl had asked her mm -hmm. him to go and check and see if she had any more kryptonite. Um, and that, and he admits that he went there, and he wasn't proud of it, but that he didn't actually look, that he trusted her or whatever. Um, and then her to turn around and say, well, the, the kryptonite I had wasn't she Lexus. Made it. I know Okay, I was it. trying to figure out if that was a spoiler for next week, or if that was this week's. Oh, and rewind, um, beware of spoilers for yeah. Supergirl. But anyway, uh, of course, if you clicked on this, you probably know, but beware of spoilers for that. And uh, what else we got? The oh, I just, yeah, I just thought it was cool when they had like, because you know, the to have all three of the world killers together, and then you know, Supergirl and Monel and everybody. That whole scene where they're all um, fighting and having Jean in the, his Martian Manhunter form. Yes, um, and uh, oh, maybe that's a different show. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, and his brain inspector. That's the other guy. Um, but. Um, that is really cool. Um, Lena Luther. Uh, um, at first, I was like, "Man, don't trust her. Don't trust her at all." But she's had such a relationship with um, Supergirl that I think we have most of us have come to trust her, or at least trust that she thinks she's doing the right thing. So, do you trust her, or do you think something's getting ready to go down? Yeah, I, I was kind of surprised that that you know because they've kind of been, you know, obviously they they kind of put that doubt in everybody's mind because she is a Luther. Um, but then everything she's done has been for good, and it's kind of interesting that she kind of makes that admission that, you know, hey, I, <laughs> I know how to make kryptonite now, 
Yeah. Um, to, as to, okay, so why? It's are you, one thing to keep it, like if she was keeping it and holding it so nobody else would get it or something like that, but to actually be able to create it, huh? I don't know. Is that like being able to um, make, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, when there's venom from the snake, the anti oh, uh -huh. anti venom. Uh, if you have kryptonite, can you make an anti? You know, a, yeah. something to help you, um, you know, reverse the effects. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they play that off. Um, you know, if they if they twist it and make it into a good thing, or yeah, it could it be. It's kind of interesting because it kind of parallels the whole, um, like, like Batman. Like he has not really known to most of the Justice League, but he has like plans on how to defeat each member of the Justice League. Uh -huh. um, so in case they ever went bad. He has some plan. Um, he has to know, and he, so that was kind of another thing, you know, that, um, you know, the whole Batman, you know, suit, even like in the Batman versus Superman, it, could it be like something like that, like, hey, just in case she ever, you know, goes rogue, this is how we would... Lean through and her. take her out. Uh, okay, so, um, so very interesting episode. Um, we're still, we're still in the midst of the fight, though. Right? Yes. Yeah, they got rid of... Um, purity and pestilence, but then the spirits or whatever, I don't know how it works, but it looked like everything kind of went into, um, into rain, so now she and has, they, like, powers of all three They didn't now. really die, though, did they? Uh, well, the uh, one girl, uh, I think the one girl, I think purity actually killed pestilence, because she kind of, purity kind of mm -hmm. comes back to her senses mm -hmm. and becomes the, the other Oh, that's the, that's the mother to the... She's okay. The mother to the daughter to the Rain girl. Is. Okay. All right. So that's our review for Supergirl this week and um, what we think could be coming. Um, I don't know what could be coming. <laughs> I've kind of be in the season finale. It could really be a when Monel when when Monel's relationship with Supergirl. You know when they uh, finally kind of like figured things out and their feelings out and then. Um, and then he was sent away, and then he comes back married. Oh, I was like, err. So it's kind of thrown me off for the whole season, I feel like. A little bit. I have a little bit invested in that daughter and Rain and, you know, mm -hmm. Lena and trying to fix her a little bit. But, um, but anyways, so I think I prefer things the way they are. Now, they were making his, Monel's new wife is um, helping them in the, in the cause, right? Helping them. Help well, they were trying. The whole their whole thing was to come back and get rid of. Um, That's right. Oh yeah. Pestilence, mm -hmm. because then she apparently in the future becomes blight and kills a bunch of people. So right. they're trying to pull a, like a Terminator and go back in time and get her before she gets okay. too powerful. But, yeah, yeah, I do remember that um, now. That's it'd be interesting to see because you know they kind of introduce her character as kind of a you know this is why she uh, Supergirl yeah. and Monel can't be together, but. You can tell there's kind of like some friction there, so it'll be interesting to see if, you know, like they, they just kind of. I'm ready to take her to, back to a different Earth. Yeah, the, the, she, <laughs> she leaves, and they yeah. just even like once they got rid of um, pestilence, it's kind of like okay, well we can go home now, and you know, Monel's kind of he doesn't say anything, but he, you can see that like look on his face, like eh, I don't know if I want. I don't want to. He doesn't want to leave, um, which is understandable. Okay, so. Um, Stay tuned because we'll be talking about either the next or the next. We can't remember if it's two, one or two episodes and the um, uh, season finale of Supergirl for this season. So, anyways, if you leave in the comments um, your favorite character is Supergirl or uh, what you think is going to happen uh, if you're a fan of Supergirl. And um, I, li I really like the way that they have made her um, strong yet vulnerable and very uh, human, you know, very the connection is very human there so all right thank you so much for watching comment like subscribe tell a friend and we will see you next time that's not it <laughs> all right so comment like subscribe and always tell us what do you watch <laughs>